Hey y'all, hey guys, welcome back to your girl channel. For all that always keep coming back, and for all that have, um you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope y'all are feeling good, amazing, beautiful, and all of that great good things. As you can see, my voice is still trying to get there, so just bear with me, and we're gonna make this video do what it do, okay? Now, for all that have not seen my last video, I did discuss that I was going to be coming back within two to three days. I lied. I'm back again. Hey, hey, I'm back again. Okay, so it looks like this um, topic that I'm about to talk about, as you already seen the title, it looks like this is highly recommended. I'm going to give y'all what y'all want, okay? <clears throat> All right, so the topic today is about what to text your woman, your lady. What to text her to keep the conversation going. Or how to make conversations with your woman. We about to get into this. Get back with your girl. Another Lexi topic. You already know how we gonna do. Each time, make sure you tune in with me every week. First off, I want to say. Us women. We love a man that is confident and know how to handle us. I feel like a lot of reasons or some of the reasons why relationships don't be able to last and it don't be really no structure and it kind of ends off on a bad foot is because y'all don't see eye to eye. It's like the woman is trying to be more in control than a man. So men out there, even women out there that are watching this video, y'all can vouch. Comment below ladies and comment below men also if you can vouch for what I'm about to say. I'm going to be honest. We know when you're being corny. We know if you're just trying to get one thing out of us. If you really just want to <laughs> hit. Okay? We can see that. So, it has to be deep within you as far as your personality. How you um, adapt to things with the woman. Are you paying attention to that woman? Okay, so say... Um, she has a game or something. Say she has a game she got to attend and you know that she's been talking about this game where she, you know that's something that's deep to her. Of course, conversate with your woman. Come and conversate with your girl pertaining to what she is about to go do. The game would be perfect to talk about. Whatever that is genuine and close to her that she care about, figure that out and make sure you talk about it with her. If you know that she wanting to go do something for her birthday, her birthday coming up, you know, she's been talking about this and she's been sharing this on the internet. Cause let's be real, we be on the internet now. This is the new day and age. I even met my man, we met off of the internet. True story, we met off of Facebook. <laughs> so, but just to show y'all that the internet is really the wave right now. There's so much things out there that you can just grab and just pay attention to. Women, we love to cuddle. We also love to just be there for our men. We love it in the colder seasons. We love to cuddle. We love to go on dinners. We just love to be around. So I just feel like figuring out what your girl like to do and showing them that you really care. Of course, conversation is going to be brought up. Because when you show a woman that you care, that means it should never be a dual moment. Because you on it. You know it. Okay. She like this. She don't like that for real. Figuring out what she don't like is also important because you can know everything about her or you can think you know everything, but then boom, something else comes up like, mm. okay, she ain't take that too well. She she wasn't really fond of that. She didn't like that. So that's very important too. A way to a woman's heart, I know they say that for y'all, but another way to our heart is food. We love food. You know, we don't want to talk about food every single day, all day long. But we like to discuss food, especially if we're going to get the food. You know, don't just bring up food if you're not going to get me the food. You know, I just feel like a lot of women, we think about that. We look at stuff like that. Like, if you're planning on getting the food and we may not get it that same day, that's fine. But just talking about food, all this different type of food and no actions being made. Like, she ain't cooking it for you or you're not cooking it for her. That's going to be a deal breaker. And I feel like a lot of women can vouch for that. We like to be taken care of. We like to be shown things more so than talking all the time about things. It's great to talk about things, but we like for we like for the actions to match up. Us women, we are not hard to grow to like or grow to love or grow to learn, 
but it's not going to be easy because all women are different. All women come from different walks of life. Just because your ex liked this or your ex didn't like that don't mean your new girl is not going to like that or your new girl is going to like it. So you just wait, you know, weigh it out. Just make sure you are paying attention to her needs because our needs needs to be met. You got to think about it. We bleed every month. We bleed every month, so we go through different emotions and mood swings. And also, women care. We carry children. Also, we carry a child in our stomach for nine months. So all of these different things contribute to our character and contribute to the way we do things in life. Knowing the way to her heart through food, making sure you spend time with her, making sure you're discussing y'all vision board, your goals, because that's very important. Discussing goals and what you want to do and what you want to accomplish, that is amazing to a woman. Like we love to hear about your goals. We love to see that. Okay, you really try to do something. You not just try to be here just for a little short time. You try to actually be here and build a bond with me. So that's how we look at that. And embracing, embracing who you really are. We don't like a fake or a copycat or a wannabe. Be yourself. And I feel like if you're watching the video, this video, obviously you know how to um, be yourself. You know, you know how to be yourself. You know how to love on yourself and also love on your woman. So that's 100% great. Just making sure you are up on game as far as your mentality. We don't like just a young, young, young mentality guy. Because think about it. It's even scientifically proven that women, we grow more faster in maturity than boys or than guys or men. So, with that being said, you got to figure out what level she on, you know. If some girls is probably still immature. I mean, yeah, you do have women that are immature. But <laughs> if you are choosing like a more mature woman like myself, then of course you have to be mentally up on game, you know mentally growing mentally wanting to learn and grow because we don't like to be stagnant and stuck in a certain place for long we like to elevate and grow so just keep that in mind we also like to talk about um the bible sometimes you got some girls that really like talking about the bible trying to get things pieced about and figured out about the bible if that's not your thing that's cool you know you can you don't have to do that you can talk about the stars the sky you know stuff that's gonna help you think and explore. I know when me and my man first got together, just a true story, when me and my man first got together, I used to always talk about the sky and wanting to get a telescope so I could look into the sky and look at all the stars and what's really in the sky. Cause I used to see them big dipper and a little dipper all the time, like almost every night I used to always see it. And I used to always wonder, no, I used to want to know what is really to this. Because I feel like there's some women that don't be on it, and then there be some women that can really talk about it. Because it's like, when you look up at the sky, you can see a lot of stuff, especially at night. Like, we used to go look at the stars, talk about how we feel, about what's going on in the world, and all of this type of stuff. It's a lot to talk about. I learn each other, learn what's gonna work and what's not. And if it doesn't work for you, or how you feel like it should work, then maybe it's not me. It's just not me. So, yeah, that's really all I got. Make sure you are learning to love your woman or your girl that you're trying to, you know, push up on or talk to and communicate with all the time. Making sure that she is learning to love you and accept you for who you are. Don't try too hard because it's really not that hard, y'all. Do what you got to do and just don't do it just to get in them draws. Because we see y'all. We know which ones are just trying to get in the draws. So, you got to come with more than just a little game and a little one too. You got to actually be having something going on. We love business minded stuff at this big age. Let's talk about a business. Let's talk about some ownership. Let's talk about our kids. Is our kids going to be good? Is our kids' kids going to be good? Let's talk about that type of stuff. Because that is really is what's going to drive it. It's going to keep it fun. It's going to keep it exciting. And become business partners. Think about something that y'all can do together that's going to make y'all look good. Because ownership is really the ultimate goal. Comment below if you feel what I'm saying. But yeah, I hope y'all like this video. If y'all did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, so you won't miss out any other topic discussions from me. If you like this one, please let me know that you liked it. If you didn't, let me know that you didn't like it too. 
<laughs> I can deal with it. But until the next video, I'm gonna see y'all later. Mwah. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey, hey. So y'all, I got some fur boots on myself. <laughs> I did not wear it with this coat, even though I still look good if I did. <laughs> But yes, y'all, so here's the collection. Oh, hold up now. Okay, let me bring it close to y'all. Okay, so as y'all showed y'all before, we got some fur. Cute tail boots, baby. Cute boots, honey. Please don't play. Please. I cannot wait to sell these off. Oh, so cute. What? Oh, God. Oh, what? Still with the fresh tag. Uh, Christmas gift. Mwah. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Let me stop. Why am I crazy like that? Y'all. Y'all got so much stuff. Like, it's crazy. Um, For headbands. Yeah. Okay, I got one pair of first slides, baby. Just one pair. Just one. This is a size eight. Just one. But they so cute though, aren't they? <laughs> Period. I got some jewelry over here. I'm gonna show y'all one little one too. Look how cute it is. Oh no, them are beads in my bag, y'all. It's just some some beads. My bag. <laughs> 